Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around. So I think it's time to upgrade our archers a little bit. Uh, I can just go here. No? I thought I had an archer specific upgrade somewhere. Here. 100 gold for military camps. And then here as well. The Duke of Bar is sleeping with his spy master. That is indeed useful to know. Uh, so I was busy managing my domain, so I have archer upgrades here and here, but why not also there and there? Yeah. Because that's a lot of money and I'll lose those if uh, to my brother if I die? Seems like a valid reason. So, let's only keep them in my demen, the upgrades, and I'll stick the rest rest in my uh, military investments instead. Like there. Yeah, can't afford that, that's fine. The betrothed can marry! Oh, they have married. That also means that murdering her brothers has become more important. What is my current intrigue? I don't have a hostile scheme. Progress? Okay. So let's find his... This guy's 13. I can't try to murder him until 11.07 and it's now 11.01. Wow! I can murder him, though. And then after that, his brother. 31% chance of success, 46% chance of secrecy. I'm not really good at this yet. So, we should probably pick that one up. Then again, this one is only one more. So yeah, I've used Dread. We don't need the natural Dread anymore since we don't have the Decay. So we can switch to Skullduggery. That's actually good. So that's more Intrigue and more Agent Acceptance. So we're more likely to make it work. And then we will pick up... What does Torture do again? Dread Gain, Hostile Scheme, Resistance, Levy Size. Yeah, I might actually do... Those are also good. What do you mean by your duke, Seed? Um, thing is, I am the duke. I'm the duke of Holland. I have uh, war options against Luxembourg, for example. But I am not allowed to wage war on Luxembourg without permission from my uh, liege. Because of his, my liege's crown authority. So I need to use the hook on my liege to be allowed to declare that war. Ah, 
The Duke of Luxembourg. Yeah, I heard you say your Duke. That's why I got confused. Yes, that's what I'm planning to do once I've had these armies returned. I didn't have a Duke on... I didn't have a uh, hook on my Emperor yet when I sent these troops out. So back then I couldn't do the war. That's why I was like, oh, okay, I'll join the Bloody Crusade already. And so once the Crusade is done, I need to get my troops back. Yeah, I'm almost out of money because I spent it on... Uh, Do I want the English to like me, or do I want to be prestigious? I want to be prestigious. My glory is widely known. What does that even mean? I don't know. Okay, so now I should be able to lower my troops. Yes. And then I should be able to declare that war. Uh, Luxembourg. That one, yes. Now it no longer requires a hook. But he's got allies now. I can do bar. Why do I have a claim against the Duke of Tusk? Oh, excommunication. Okay. Goat's claim and Jester's claim. Okay, that's cute. Should probably do that too. So, the bar place seems sensible since Luxembourg is uh, way more powerful now that the kid grew up and uh, got allies. And once we have bar it might become easier to take Luxembourg. Does that... Does that claim inherit? Not inherited. Yeah, so that's iffy. Because that's the duchy claim. I have a lot of really, sh really shitty knights. How do I manage my knights anyway? That's expensive. Bugger. Because these, these are like zero or one. Seventy five is a lot of money. Okay, so we can't do that right now. Troops are full enough fine I wouldn't mind the help of the English there mm, really? 
Chinese troops. When you when you have money, you can definitely hire mercenaries. Yes. And after you've paid, they're yours for like three years, and then you need to pay them again. I think. I'm now a better fighter than my marshal. The twist and turns of faith has not been to my advantage. God knows I was cursed the day I... I didn't know I had a rival. But apparently he's dead. I had a rival. That's exciting. So this is interesting because those two together have about the same number of troops as I do by myself. Oh, more secrets. Let's see if we can not go broke because of that. Wow, that's a lot of blackmail. Haven't done that in a while, apparently. Frisia, yes, that's exactly what we want. We are so broke right now. But a claim on Frisia is actually really, really good. So, let's see if we can now convert that into some money. Because, honestly, I really, really, really need some dough. Okay, they're running off, so then I'll just take this baron here instead. None of you have cash? Well, not that guy. Seriously? Seriously. I know, only know secrets on broke people. That's inconvenient. So, <clears throat> how badly do I want that king, future king of England to die? Oh, hang on. Let me pause here. Because this torturer one, it, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a capstone thing. Four prowess is actually pretty nice. Dread gain, yeah, not really that important anymore. The levy size is nice though. Sure. After that, we're going to go for those two and become proficient at murdering. So many hooks. So few monetization options. It's everybody's broke. Hey, Jester. Uh, no, no worries. It turns out that my ex was actually bringing them to bed. But thank you for your concern. Did it just say intrigue? He already loves the shit out of me. And I'm trying to kill his son. The trait torturer. Yes. So I now have the torturer trait, which gives me plus four prowess, plus 50% dread gain, 
25% hostile scheme resistance and 10% levy size. What I want is to monetize the many hooks I have. But no one has money to pay me. We lost the war. Oh, that's so sad. Weren't we... I suppose I'll just stick with one kingdom to meddle in for now. So let's at least find that guy. Uh, High Alliance County. Oh, right. Yeah. So if we go with this murder plan that we're doing right now. Oh, yeah, you can just disinherit people, actually. Come to think of it. You can disown them. Like, if I go, hey, Jester, dude! Uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah. It's just not working out. You can do that. How old am I? Yeah, the problem is, you also want, like, cousins that can inherit. I'm 48. And Goat is 25. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Because I don't like this whole... Uh... It costs... Oh! It costs renown. That makes sense. And you can actually spend Renown as well on... <sighs> yeah, so the, the Renown, which is like your family tree's uh, prestige me measurement across generations, you can spend it on upgrades that will affect everyone in your, uh, in your family. So this one gets you better chance at inheriting or uh, keeping uh, uh, congenital traits. This one makes people more likely to marry. So there's there's a lot of interesting stuff here, and it's it's really it, I think this replaces the uh, the bloodline system, which was a bit cheesy, and this is a bit more grindy, I guess. I think that depends on the nature of your religion. Can take the vows and become a monk. But I'm not sure if that's... Hmm. Anyway, back to my war. That's a city, that's a barony. Let's defend from the forest since we have a lot of archers. This is going to be pretty exciting. So there's some kind of die roll. Oh. Ta. 
Well, Jester, remember when I was going to disinherit you, but I didn't? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry, kiddo. Yep, you did. So, we won a battle. That's nice. We lost a son. That's okay. We need a new chancellor because that son was that chancellor. We have another son. He can be the chancellor. I got twins! Dirk after me and Godzilla after something. Well, um. How about. Well, Jester already had a son, so Azira can, uh, can have one. Uh, Grand View King, you can be the daughter. There you go. Ah, the British are coming to help. Jolly good. This uh, siege is nearly done. Oh, hello. I'm gonna just scare them off and then siege this. Thing. Wait, is this not? This is a barony, right? Are we not sieging? Yeah, we are. Lovers, huh? Useful info. Now show me the money! Sheesh! Designate guardian for calf. Okay. Calf, what can you do? You can steward. So let's designate a stewardly guardian then. Like my wife. Sure. This is fine, I guess. This is just me. So, still no ability to take people's money because I, I really feel like this should work better somehow. Because I mean, these are a lot of hooks. Look at that. Look at, look at all the people have I have hooks on. Are you telling me they're all? Look, he's got three hundred and six monies. I can't command payment because I'm busy. Now that, that explains it. How about we unbusy me for a second then? Because I've already won the war. Uh, where was the war? The war was here. How about if we unbusy me and shove Baldrick back in there? Now I'm not leading an army. Ah, ha, 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 ha. There we go. I'm unbroking myself. Just not the Emperor, thank you, but everyone else, I'm quite willing to cash in on. She's got 25. Yeah, sure. I don't care. Ha! Huh, that feels better. We are no longer that broke. I was, I was surprised at how little money I could get out of this whole blackmail... Thing, but now it makes sense. I was busy. Cha-ching! I'm no longer broke. Uh, 
I think I just won my war. Yes, I did. Enforce demands. Give me my claims. Okay. So. I only got this little thingy. That's fine. Can I drop my troops? Yes, I can. Does that mean I can now declare war on Frisia? Wait, I have... Wait, oh, well, that was Brabant, wasn't it? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty big opponent, I think. But she's a little girl with potentially few allies. Oh, holy cow, that's a good war. That would get me the Duchy of Phrygia, which would potentially even let me create the kingdom there. So let's do that then. Uh, I think we start up north, so I will take that thing and move it there. All right. Meh. Oh, I actually have the money to take that knight I wanted. So let's do that before I go broke again. Um, that one's here. Manage knights. Recruits. Okay, 75. All right. I don't have the money for him, but that's fine. So now I have at least one good knight. There's a faction against me? Oh, they're peasants. That should be fine. I mean, the Netherlands would never just become a republic like that, would they? Bom, bom, bom. Still missing a steward? Yeah, well. Sure, I guess. I cannot get back here in time to fight those off of my capital, so I'll just keep going up north here. I captured someone, huh? I have so many prisoners! Torture, might discover a secret, might gain some power. Yeah, sure. And you as well. Oh, can I can I not torture more than one at once? It's a good hobby, sure. Oh, I can't torture children, probably. Because I think I can actually, I actually get stat increases from torture, right? Ransom the lady I just tortured. My domain limit decreased somehow. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, court prisoners. We 
because <clears throat> being good at torturing actually increases your stats, including your intrigue. So that's uh, worth doing. I uh, accept your ransom offer and hope to see her return to me in good health. Well, she's returned to you. That's got to count for something, right? Ransom prisoners, always good. Yeah, they were a kid. I don't torture kids, apparently, so that's fine. <clears throat> so yeah, in order to call allies to war, you actually spend quite a bit of prestige, so I'd rather not for this one. Gain Dread. Yes, I think my dread's probably maxed out by now. 98! Almost there! Blackmail. <clears throat> Demand payments. Wait, I don't have any hostile schemes in progress. Why is that? Didn't he, like, have sons that I was murdering? Or did I fail that too? I missed that. Yeah, I thought I had. Since I don't have that scheme going on, do I want to... What proposal? Hang on. You want... You want me to... Uh, no. No, that's called a hostage. I don't... I know. <clears throat> Thank you for the kind offer, but... If I re decline, he doesn't like me very much. If I accept, I'll be at war. That's all right. I don't mind being at war. So... Do I then want to make a hook here still? Sure. Because that's something I'm actually really, really capable at. And then we can do that. Uh... I thought I was already doing that. Why is my domain limit so bad? Is that because... Ah! Okay. So, now we can start to work on learning how to kill. Ok, 
Okay, so we got this place. And we get money from it too. That's kind of nice. Um, I guess dropping by Amsterdam is a good idea because someone dropped some armies on me there. Why, why did this lower? Domain limit, Duke. Probably my stewardship got lower or something. Okay. Battle it is. Let me, uh, let me take over there for a second. He actually rolled way, way better on his initial die rolls, but that doesn't matter. We could beat them anyway. So, taking over Amsterdam. Again. Oh! Uh oh! I'm going crazy! Lately, I've had a hard time thinking straight. My thoughts are scattered like clouds upon a summer sky. The birds outside my window have started singing another tune. Other people seem to willfully talk in riddles, and no one acknowledges that cilantro is a truly horrid spice. How many sons do I have? I don't know. Uh, one, two... That's a girl. That's a girl. Three! Who's the most noble person you've ever heard of? Spend 75 uh, prestige to make Robert like you? Or gain 75 prestige yourself? Ah, He likes me anyway. This last week I've been spiraling like a leaf in a tornado going round and round. What is reality? What is real? I can no longer answer this. All I know is that the woman in the clouds understands me. But the shadows are reaching further every day. I've gained the trait Lunatic. Uh, health minor penalty, attraction lower, vassal opinion lower, hostile skin resistance higher, opinion of Lunatics plus 10. Okay. Well, time to introduce some new laws, I say. Always fun. Control Holland. Come on! This is so much work! Because now I need to go back there to take those troops and... <sighs> yeah, I'll get there in a minute. More money. Nice. I'm not very well liked. But that's alright. <clears throat> A prisoner, you say? I'm torturing him, but it's okay. It's in the name of the church. I have a perk for that. Yeah, and we prevent the siege from completing. We were just in time. Nice. Send him a letter. Hmm. 
Not right now. I think that'll make him dislike me too much to be effective for a weak hook. Let's chase them down. We want a war, I think. It's a well-known fact that courtiers will scheme and plot, but I may be able to use this to my advantage. If I can keep my courtiers suspicious of each other and distracted within fighting, they will not have the time or resources to scheme against me. Spread rumors, cause them to distrust each other, gain intrigue, gain spies, which gives me scheme resistance. They already know not to plot against me. Gain prestige, sure. That seems fair. I mean, honestly, uh, my dread is a hundred. Oh, you actually get dread for being your liege spy master too. That's kind of cool. Oh, I do have hundred percent war score. My bad. So now I own the Duchy of Frisia. Mm, but that's not nearly big enough to make a... Sure, I'll pay... I'll take your money and get... Give you your kid back. That's all fine. So... Already tortured him. Already tortured her. Okay, good. No, not right now. Ransom this prisoner. Ransom that prisoner. Count Hendrik's chest... Oh, this is a, a bit of a bug, I think. As I explained the concept to Count Hendrik, his resolve melts away before my eyes. Please, no, please. I will tell you anything you want to know. I have... Intimate relations with Duchess Radagund. I learn his secret. Or... I learn his secret, but I'm sadistic and arbitrary, so I keep going. More torture. Okay. More secrets means more blackmail, right? That's how that works. Should be someone blackmailable here. No. <laughs> to my liege, I accept your ransom offer and hope to someday show you the same hospitality. That's, that's brave. So, disband troops. Um... My culture has discovered our saddle. Okay. That's probably got some kind of advantage for something. Can recruit armored horsemen as men at arms. Okay. That's new. So all of these go up to 500 now. I can't get another man-at-arms regiment. I'm not sure what determines that uh, size. 
Sure, let's recruit this guy, because he's also a good knight. There. This guy. So, now we have some capable warriors. We still have some non-capable warriors. Though. I'm allowed to have eight knights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So something better would be good. I'm not allowed to invite more for a while. Okay, well, we'll leave this as is then. Low control in several counties, including the one that has my capital, because it was really recently taken over. So let's have my marshal increase control in county Holland. Uh, yeah. So. Ransom account. I'm now the culture head of the Dutch culture. Okay. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Did this just say first in line? I'm spending a lot on troops because they just fought, so they're replenishing. That's kind of how this works. Uh, while this is going going up from from below 500 to 500, I'm spending quite a bit of money to replenish them. Once they are full, their uh, upkeep cost goes down. Also, I've been sticking money into troops rather than into uh, economy building. But, more importantly... Look at this! If the Emperor were to die right now, guess who would become the new Emperor? <clears throat> His spy master. His spy master who just got the get better at killing people perk. Where are you, my liege? Here you are. 77% chance at success because I'm his spy master. 92% <laughs> chance at staying secret. It's going to take about a year and a half. Okay, that that was that was interesting. My spy master approaches me with a wicked grin. This pouch contains a powder most nefarious. If sprinkled on some on top of something, like a gift for the emperor, it leaves no trace, but will afflict whoever touches it with weakness and ill humors. I pay 20 money to give him a gift, and he starts not feeling well. Sure. That's definitely worth 20 money. Yes, Spoon, but not only has he chosen to have me as his spy master, 
I'm also the first in line if he dies. That's a big difference. I'm getting a lot of people joining my scheme here. Sure, sure, yeah, you can have your woman back for money. I wonder if I can use my hook to make people join my scheme. Well, my spy master is my heir, which has a good and a bad side. The bad side is he has a benefit of killing me. The good side is if he does, then I'm him and I've succeeded. Look at that progress. <laughs> oh, I can make him. Because uh, I, I wasn't even doing that yet. Uh, no, here, council. I can make him support schemes. Hostile scheme plower, plus 30. There we go. Two months left. <laughs> Let's see if I'm still first in line. Yes, because at the moment that changes, we need to abort, abort, abort. Fook needs a guardian. What's Fook like? She can... Sure. You go. You can take care of Fook. Yeah, I mean, being... Oh! Guess what? Hostile scheme suggests chance... Su success chance plus 25%. Oh, it's maxed out, actually. 70. <laughs> yeah. It's... Okay. Okay. I'm still the only person voting for me. <laughs> so... With a recent upset among the peasants of Klingenberg, uh, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of Emperor Sigismund. With coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot while the Emperor is passing through the streets. Time for some good old-fashioned mob rule. 95% chance he's dead. In addition, you lose 12 stress because you're arbitrary. And 5% chance that the scheme is discovered. Guess who just became Holy Roman Emperor <laughs> in his first playthrough of CK3? <laughs> With his first ruler. Ha! Huh. That relieved some stress. Joffrey would be proud. Sadly, Joffrey is dead. But, uh... Can't I nominate my son? <sighs> this went really, really, really well. Not so much the part where my monitor decided to shut itself off. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> but the other part. So, I am the Holy, Ro Holy Roman Emperor. Holy Roman shit. That, that was cool. That was, that was, 
I did not expect to get there with this guy. I'm neither holy nor Roman. No, but that fits the Empire pretty well. Ah, here we go. Yes, I would like Goat to be my heir. And I have three votes now. Ah. <sighs> Titles can be created. Kingdom of Frisia, Germany, Bavaria, Italy, or Lothering. That costs 500 money. So it lied to me that I can create titles because I don't have that kind of money. But I can imprison so many people and take all of their money. Nice, nice. I did not expect this to happen. I am well pleased. My uh, domain limit also went up, up obviously. <clears throat> This was cool. This was very nice. I also think that this is actually quite an okay point to end my first session of CK3. <sighs> I would like to thank you all very much for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, playing this so far. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, do check out the Twitch as well. Um, you can find my socials down there. On Wednesday, I'm going to be streaming multiplayer together with Allart. So that should also uh, also be uh, interesting to watch. Did we win? Yes, we won. I went from the Duke of Holland with two counties to Holy Roman Emperor with my first ruler. Mostly by backstabbing and blackmail. And a bit of murder. Yep, that was fun. That was a lot of fun.